Hey everyone, it's James with episode number 17 of Dream Better English. Hope you're all doing very well. I wanted to talk to you guys today about the weather and in particular the rain. Now, I am from a very rainy place, Dublin in Ireland, and I've lived also in the UK, which, to be honest, the weather is pretty similar. Now, at present, I live in the south of Spain and we had some rain today. And we've had rain for the last while, honestly, but very normal spring weather, let's say. And I was thinking how familiar we are in the UK and Ireland with the rain and the difference between how people feel about the rain here. Now, one of the main differences is when it rains here, people tend to become quite depressed even though in the south of Spain you really need the rain, to be honest. You need the, 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 the trees and the plants are very th thankful for the rain. But people become slightly depressed and any plans that are made are quickly cancelled. Or it's not, even, it's not even discussed. It's obvious that you're going to cancel because of the rain. On the other hand, I have students and I talk to them and some of my students say, oh, yes, I really, I don't like the hot weather. It gets too hot here in Spain. I prefer the rain. Now, this, when it comes from, or when you tell, in general, an Irish person or a British person that you prefer the rain, it's very obvious to us that you haven't lived long enough in Britain or in Ireland because any chance we get, we are on a plane and we are over to a hot country. Not many people in general are holidaying at home in Britain or Ireland, which is also called a staycation because you have a vacation going on holidays and staying at home is a staycation. Now, let's talk about the different types of rain. Um, one, of the main, one of the main differences is, now, for example, the rain here today, while it was heavy rain, it was, it was fine. It was enjoyable because I could actually use an umbrella and I could walk around and I didn't really have to worry about the wind. There was no wind. But at home, it's pointless or it doesn't make sense often to use an umbrella because you're going to need one so often because the weather is, it rains very often and it's quite unpredictable. So you would need to be carrying an umbrella around with you all the time. And then the wind decides, no, I don't think I'm going to let you use that umbrella. I'm going to blow it every which way and make your life impossible. And the rain also says, yeah, me too. I'm going to come at you from all different angles, uh, except for the sky. So it really doesn't make sense to have an umbrella at all. Um, whereas here you have an umbrella and you can walk through the rain and enjoy the rain. So I suppose I do understand what my uh, some of my students are talking about. Um, now different types of rain you have the rain as i said can be is very often uh, affected by the wind and when you have the rain generally it comes at an angle so it's like coming perhaps diagonal towards you so it's going to wet you anyway and sometimes you might call this driving rain where the the wind is driving the rain into you you know, it's coming at a, a at an angle and it's coming quite fast with the wind. It's called driving rain. Um, the rain where it's very light, very light rain, uh, very soft, we call this drizzle. It's called drizzle. So somebody might say, oh, is it raining outside? And you might say, well, it's only drizzling. But the thing about drizzle I'm sure you might be aware of this. It depends where you live. But the thing about drizzle, well, there's different types of drizzle, but there's one type that it lands on your clothes and it just stays there. And it just, it's, it's, it's almost worse than rain because it just makes you really wet. It just stays on your clothes. 
that's an interesting type of rain. Um, when it's hard rain, uh, we call it torrential rain. Generally, rain is not too hard in Ireland and uh, Britain. It's uh, it's it's the wind that's the problem really i've noticed when you're in hotter countries the rain comes down hard and fast more torrential or or you can call this when it lasts for a short time you can call this a downpour a downpour is like heavy rain for a while uh, and then it stops uh light rain for a while for a short while we call this shower so the general, if you ever watch the news in the UK and Ireland, uh, the general weather is, the weather for tomorrow will be sunny spells and scattered showers. <laughs> that's, that's the weather of the UK and Ireland because it's, you're going to get a bit of sun and you're going to get a bit of rain. And, and that's, that's what it is. Uh, what other types of rain do we have? Um, uh, of course, uh, in the winter months or e- in spring as well, you get rain mixed with snow, and this is called sleet. So s- you get sleet, and that's that can be quite uncomfortable. Let's say the little balls of ice are called hailstones, and of course, snow is snow. Um, but a lot of people don't know uh, sleet, uh, which is very, yeah, quite uncomfortable because it's generally accompanied, obviously, by quite cold wind and weather. Um, so the rain as well is quite common. And when I, w- when I was going to school, I would cycle to school like uh, uh, so many people or a lot of people nowadays cycling to work. And I got a good I got a good expression for you here is we would wear our rain gear. Gear is spelled G-E-A-R. And this is a very useful word in English because gear is used for equipment. So your rain gear is what you use when it's raining. And typically when you're cycling, you're using a waterproof jacket, a rain jacket, and waterproof trousers, which you pull on over your clothes. Because if you don't, uh, well, obviously, you're going to get wet. You arrive to school or you get to work and you're soaked. When you're soaked, it's you're absolutely soaking wet. You're totally wet. So that's... Um, and this word gear can be used for anything um, such as sports. The stuff or the equipment that you need... I wouldn't say equipment, you'll say gear. The gear that you bring for sports, it depends what you play. If you play tennis, it's your rackets, it's your balls, it's your tennis clothes, whatever you need, that's your tennis gear. Um, If you're a climber in the mountains, and you want to make sure you bring your climbing gear. So it's a very useful word, gear. Uh, It just means stuff or equipment. And a very useful, as I said, word. Uh, in English okay back to the weather the rain um, yes a very big part of our lives in the UK and Ireland and as well as many other countries now when I'm in Spain here often people will say to me on a day like we had today oh James look the weather is like your country you and they often they assume that I'm happy because they assume that I must like the weather where I come from it's the weather where I come from it's what I'm used to therefore I like it and I would say and I, I think I speak for the most part of uh, British and Irish people uh, we do not like our weather at all um, uh, especially the rain and so on it's it's not something we generally look forward to um, and any chance we get we're off to the sun on a sun holiday and loving it so uh, they would be wrong when uh, and, and a, a big thing for me um, when I live abroad is the fact that we can count on the sea we can rely on the different seasons there will be a, a spring summer autumn and winter whereas on the other hand in the UK and Ireland uh, the weather tends to be the seasons tend to be quite mixed 
And sometimes you get a great summer and the, the country uh, looks fantastic. It's a great place to be, but it's very unreliable. Often you will have a summer which really just feels like a spring or even like uh, a winter. It's very unreliable. So, uh, as I said, any chance we get, we are off to the sun. So there you go. I just thought I would uh, run that by you uh, and have you um, get the opinion of someone who comes from rainy weather, where it's a big part of our lives. Um, I shall be back very soon with our next episode. I hope this was rather interesting for you guys. And I'll talk to you in our next episode. All the best. Bye.